Hello everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're going to briefly discuss 20 coats of arms in the Jones family. First belonged to Griffin Jones. It was granted in the year 1569, was associated with the location of Marionethshire, Wales. And although I'm not sure, the only person I can find readily living at this time um, with this name was a vicar and an adventurer. Uh, although I'm, I'm not quite sure of that. Second, we have Edward Jones. This coat of arms was granted in 1587. He was from Walpole and Marshland in County Norfolk, England. Next, we have Walter Jones uh, from Worcester, England, granted in 1602. He was the son of John Jones and the grandson of John Jones of Graysmond County Monmouth in Wales. Next, we have Sir Ellis Jones, who was a provost marshal of Munster and possibly an officer in Cromwell's army. He was knighted in 1603 from Kildare, Ireland, and relatives. He was the son of Thomas Jones, Archbishop of Dublin, and Lord Chancellor of Ireland. Next, we have Sir Roger Jones, who was the Sheriff of London, and this was granted in the year 1604, and it was also granted to his brother, Thomas Jones, the Bishop of Meath. Next, we have William Jones of Chilton and Shrewsbury in County Salop, granted in 1607. He was the son of Thomas Jones, the grandson of William Jones, and the great-grandson of Richard Jones of Holt in Denby. He had two daughters named Alina and Sarah with wife Anna Brown. Sir Francis Jones, who was a merchant, Lord Mayor of London, Sheriff of London, and Master of the Haberdashers Company, granted 1620, son of John Jones of Cleverly, County Shropshire, and the father of three sons, including one named Abraham and one daughter. Next, we have Sir Roger Jones, the first Viscount Ranlay, a title created in 1628 in Ireland. He was a commander and member of Parliament. He was the son of Thomas Jones, the Archbishop of Dublin, as well as the father of two sons, Arthur and Thomas, and two daughters, Margaret and Mary. John Jones of Chiswick, Middlesex, England. This was recorded in the visitation of this county in 1663. He was the son of Thomas and Anne, and he was the father of three sons, Thomas, John, and Edward, and four daughters, Anne, Mary, Elizabeth, and Susan, with wife Anne Fielder. John Jones of Stratford Bow in Middlesex, England. This coat of arms was recorded in the visitation of that county in the year 1663. He was the son of John of Bristol and the grandson of John of Bristol, a woolen draper by trade. He was also the father of one son, John, and two daughters, Abigail and Mary, a stepdaughter. Next, we have Edmund Jones, who was a barrister or judge and the recorder 
of Brecknock and Carmarthen, location Buckland, Breckenshire, Wales, born around the year 1612. He had five sons, Games, Edmund, Moses, Edward, and Thomas, and four daughters, Rachel, Margaret, Damaris, and Catherine. Sir Henry Jones, first baronet of Alby Marlis, location Aber Mar Ley, Carmarthen, Wales, created in the year 1643. He married Elizabeth Salisbury and has no male issue. Next, we have Jones of Edwin Locke in Worcester, England. This was founded, this branch was represented by Philip Jones, gentleman of the same family with Jones of Droitwich. And he died in 1610, and he had numerous children, including descendant Richard Jones, a merchant in London. Next, we have Rice Jones, Esquire of Ast Hall in Oxford, England. Coat of arms was recorded in the Visitation of 1634. He was the grandson of John Jones of Kinneoak and the great great grandson of Griffith Ap David Goach, alias Jones, who lived in the year 1465. Sir Hartford Jones Bridges, first baronet of Boltybrook was an ambassador to Persia, a high sheriff, and a privy councillor. Created in 1807, he was the son of Harford Jones of Prestine and the father of one son and two daughters with his wife, Sarah Gott. Sir Thomas Tyrett Jones, the first baronet of Stanley Hall, was a member of Parliament and a fellow of the Royal Society. Stanley Hall was in Shropshire, England, and he was created a baronet in 1808. He was the son of John of Netherclay House, who was a captain in the Royal Navy. He was also the father of three sons and two daughters with his wife, Harriet Rebecca Williams. Sir John Thomas Jones was a Major General and Officer in the Royal Engineers of Cranmer Hall, Norfolk, England, created 1831. He was the son of John Jones, Esquire, a General Superintendent at Landguard Fort, and the father of three sons and one daughter with Catherine Lawrence. James Jones, Archdeacon of Hereford in England, who died in the year 1823. Morgan Jones, Esquire of Pembroke, Wales, who died in 1826, was the son of Jacob Jones, Esquire of Kilwendish in County Pembroke, Wales, a descendant of the families of Morgan, Jones, and Trench. And lastly, an unknown coat of arms. I wasn't able to identify too much for this one that has a hedgehog in the crest. Other than the location was Foy in Hereford, England, and this family descended from William Jones, a vicar, and his wife, Elizabeth Abrahal, who lived in the 17th century. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says Genealogy Research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors.
Thank you.